I'm Terry Sullivan and welcome to this week's Sticks Radio Show here on Seclo Sounds. And today on the show I have a great guest. It's part of a sort of a two-parter. Uh, tied in with next week and I'll tell you more about next week uh, later on in the show. But today on the show I have a gentleman called Alan Hewlett. He's a multi-platinum award winning composer, writer and producer and he's the current keyboardist with the Moody Blues. He's also got a brand new album out called Evolution and we're going to be playing some tracks from that and from his uh, album, the past album called High Fidelity uh, in the show. So let's start off uh, today's show before we chat to Alan with a track from his new album Evolution. This is called The Last Ride.
on the show, I have, uh, well, he's a legendary magi- a musician, uh, his name's Alan Howlett, and we've just heard from his new album called Evolution, and that was The Last Ride. Good morning, Alan. How are you, Terry? I'm great, I'm absolutely fabulous. That's a great song from your new album, isn't it? I love that song, yeah, that's, that features uh, Jamie Glazer from Chick Corea's uh, uh, electric band. Yeah, I know, there's quite, there's quite a few, I mean, on this album, you've got, Quite an all-star lineup. If I um, let me go through it, you've got JV Collier on bass from Bruce Hornsby. Uh, he's also played with The Temptations, Frida Payne, among others. And you've got uh, Sonny Emery, who's played with um, Earth, Wind, and Fire, Steely Dan, and, uh, and you've got Jamie Glazier. He's played with um, Chick Corea's electric band Manhattan Transfer. And you've got uh, Duffy King, uh, a six-time Detroit uh, Music Award winner. Among others, and yeah, yourself, Duffy, of course. Duffy's, Duffy's a, a, one of my friends that I grew up with, and really? we played together back in the day, you know, so we, uh, I hooked up with him again and yeah. had him on the album. Well, that's fabulous. I mean, I mean, you obviously uh, live in America at the moment. You, you come over to Britain just to tour a few times a year, or a few months of the year, even. Yeah. Um, were you actually born in America? I was. Yeah, yeah. Where, where, whereabouts are you called home? In you? northern Michigan, which is up by Canada, actually. Oh. Halfway between Canada and Minnesota. You yeah, know, that is. That's why I still have this accent. I know. I noticed it's, it's quite. It's uh, it's quite noticeable in my mind. Um, I mean, how did you get into the music? But uh, how did you sort of discover music? Well, at that time, I was a drummer, so I was really into. I was really into English bands. As a matter of fact, Gentle Giant, Genesis, anything fusion. Jet, yes, Emerson, and Palmer, all that kind of thing. Wow. And um, of course, I wanted to play fast because I was a drummer. Yeah. So, so when did you switch? <laughs> different odd time signatures. So, and what happened is I, you know, grew out of my um, my area and then went to school at Berkeley School of Music in, in Boston. Mm-hmm. And then um, from there I moved out to California, and that's where everything kind of started to click. Yeah, because it's a bit, bit of a big old jump from being a drummer to a keyboard player. Yeah, yeah I suppose it would be kind of that I, I played around on keyboards all the time I was... Um, you know, playing drums because I've been a writer since I was young, you know, 12 or so. So I had to, I used the, the piano to write on. And then when I was at college, I just I kind of got, started perfecting it a little bit more, you know, and learning more about it. And I'm still learning. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I, I must admit, to be honest with you, the, the one instrument I'd like to play, and I am not musical at all, I can't sing and I cannot play instruments, is the drums because I think it's the noisiest one, isn't it? Yeah, it's a fun one. Yeah, I th- well, I think so. And it really I- came in handy, um, especially when I was writing for people during the you know the eighties and nineties and stuff, um, because you know everything was driven around around the groove and stuff. So mm-hmm. it was uh, it really came in handy, especially when I was working with Earth, Wind, and Fire. I was going to come to that. I mean, uh, about working because you worked with Morris White for quite a while. The late Morris White, as he is yeah. now, they are they are Which one I, of my. Who I miss dearly. He's- <sighs> Yeah, and you know, uh, it, it's one of those. Uh, Earth, Wind, and Fire have what I call a party every album, don't they? Yeah, yeah, um, they they do. It's great. I mean, they're it's an excellent band, and and everybody in it, they're just super people too. So, how many years did you work with Earth, Wind, and Fire? Well, I think seven to seven, eight years. Yeah. Um, and I was in the producing end of it. Yeah. I didn't go out with them live. No. I got asked to, but I I preferred to work with Maurice because I was learning so much from him. I mean, they're, I mean, they're legendary. It's interesting how the, the should we say, the, um, the, the, the the old 70s and 80s music is coming back. I mean, you've got Noel Rogers. I mean, he's been working with Daft Punk. And yeah. he's been working with, um, oh, the guy who wrote Happy. The guy who did Happy. Yeah. He's, he's been writing with all those, all those all, and it's sort of almost like full circle again, the disco stuff, isn't it? It has. Well, you know, it's, it's great stuff. And, and oh. you know, how things cycle anyway. Music cycles because, really, there's nothing original, really. No, it's, I mean, I, I, this album has won a lot of awards, the, the, the Evolution album. It's won a uh, winner of Global Music Awards for Best Album and Best Instrumentalist Album. I mean, that is something, you know, a, a pretty uh, heavy award, isn't it? Yeah, well, it was nice to get that because actually Evolution was a project that I wanted to, I've been wanting to do for a long time, and it's because I really love Fusion, which for mm. people that, may not know that kind of music it's basically a combination of rock jazz and in funk mm-hmm. and um and i i opted a little bit more for the rock side um and because chick korea weather report all those groups were just they were heroes of mine so mm-hmm. to you know to be able to play that kind of stuff was great and i got the guys that i really wanted sonny emery um 
we missed each other when I was working with Earth, Wind, and Fire. He just had left the band just one year prior to me starting with them. So I always wanted to work with him because he's just a fantastic drummer. And um, and Jamie Glazer, I went to school with at Berkeley College of Music and never got to play with him there because I was just, just coming in and he was leaving. Mm. And I was, I, uh, just, you know, just they're just fun to play with. Yeah, I was, I was actually going to ask you, is there anybody you'd like to or, or like to have work with? Anybody you've missed, you know, either they're, they're no longer with us or you, there's somebody now you, you think, I'd love to work with that guy. Well, I'm hoping I, I'm going to do another... Um, Alan Hewitt and One Nation Records, and I'm hoping to get Stanley Clark and Steve Lukather and maybe some other, a couple other guitar players that I've been looking to play with at, on that record. Mm. Um, those are two guys that I would really like to work with. Mm. And uh, is there anybody sort of who's no longer with us you thought, I wish I'd work with them? Well... There's probably a lot of them, but I can't think of them. Yeah, Maybe Phil <laughs> Zalinol like, from I, Weather Report. Jocko Pistorius, yeah, the bass I'm, player from from Weather Report. Okay. Um, that, that Jocko Pistorius probably would be the main one. Yeah, so I mean, I mean, we, we, I mentioned Morris died earlier. I think it was February of this year. Yeah, I mean, th- this year has been a, a, a well, a, an absolutely blitz of uh, sort of famous and musical stars yeah. disappearing. It's been it's been not been a good thing. So uh, terrible. Yeah, well. 